Hello you guys. Today we talk about non-original pedal parts that are produced today and how we can use these non-original pedal parts for our old Volvo. Let's look at this spare parts supplier catalog. Spare parts for passenger cars Volvo. This spare part supplier catalog considers that these rubber pedal covers are suitable to most Volvo models. This is a very old catalog. Now this company sells parts on the four engines. I use this catalog because it has photos and original parts numbers. And this is very important in the search of parts. Catalog says that we can use these rubber parts for Amazon 140 series, 164, 240, 260, 740, 760, also 780 series. It also creates illusion that the most Volvos have the same rubber parts for the clutch and brake pedals. We have agreed that this is true for late models of 240 series. This is the original Volvo Car Corporation parts catalog 240 series. In our days, this catalog can be easily found and downloaded. Personally, I prefer paper catalogs. We can trust this catalog. As far as I'm concerned, first we look at the number of the rubber part for the clutch pedal. Here is what we need, picture and part numbers. Let's see, if you remember, this number is absolutely the same as in the spare part supply catalog that we looked. Now let's find the brake pedal part in this catalog. And a rubber part for the brake pedal we will look for in the brake group. In nowadays, this catalog accessible anyone with smartphone. In olden days, finding parts wasn't extremely quickly as it is now. Here is the page we were looking for. Pedal part is exactly the same as in the picture. This part have no leg divot in the lip. Now let's look at the original part number of the rubber brake pedal part. So dear friends, this is the same number as for the clutch pedal part. This number for automatic transmission. And now let's look at 140 series catalog. The OEM 140 series rubber part has this little cut out that you can see on the back of the lip. It's special for pedal leg. Let's see what number is for this rubber part. Find the part in the illustration and look its number in the list. And as we see, here is a completely different number. Well, let's see what we have with brake rubber parts numbers. I must say right away that the brake pedal part for an automatic transmission and for a manual transmission are different. There are two different numbers. Also important to say 140 series original rubber parts for the clutch and brake pedals are different and not interchangeable. 140 series has a little cut out on the rear of the lip. Special for pedal leg. Let's compare our pedal covers. They different. So we can't use a non-original part for 140 series because this part have no leg divot in the lip. 
You can agree or disagree, but I think we should be able to make this cutout ourselves. Using the old correct rubber part, we can adapt the new one. Mark with a pen the place on the rubber cover where we need to make a cutout. We adapt this part for the brake pedal. And I write on this part that it is for brakes. And now we mark with a pen where we need to make a cutout on the part for the clutch pedal. As I said, the parts for the clutch pedal and for the brake pedal are completely different. And write what it is for the clutch pedal so as not to confuse. Well, let's start the modifications. A kitchen knife is plenty good enough for our purposes. Don't freak out and be considerate. This is interestingly enough. Heed my warnings, don't expect perfection. Most importantly, save our fingers. Perfect. Ready to installation. Let's go put these parts on the pedals. Compared to other cars, we must say that there is a plenty of legroom here yeah, in our old Volvo. Now we'll put our rubber brake apart. I really don't want to get my hands dirty. Just pry them from the back. Pedal parts very often wears out at an angle. By the way, if the rubber pedal parts are badly worn, it is easy to judge that vehicle has a high mileage. Remove the brake pedal part and we'll already install new parts right now. Parts are ready to install and let them lie near to the pedals. Take a notice that they did it in the lip. Install the bottom part of the first and then lip wraps around the steel part of the pedal for installation rubber part in its place. Maybe you can using small screwdriver. Make sure the lip goes all the way around. There is a no difficult trick. So do it yourself. Do it right. Don't trust clones. They don't know what they're doing. Now we'll install the brake pedal part ourselves. I can't trust anyone these days. So I have to do everything myself. Check that rubber lip wraps around all steel plate. Once again make sure that everything ok. Through these rubber things we drive our car. Now pedals are similar to the pedals from the 940 series. I just put these pedals on all my cars. I don't really like this cutout on the rubber part. What a penetrate through it and the pedals start to rust. Now we can press pedals with new parts. I think it's good. And even legs don't slip off, which is important. I like these new rubber parts. These parts are cheap and good. So today we learned how to use in pedal parts from 240 series for 140 series. Yes, it's not original, but it's very cheap. And let me remind the numbers of rubber parts. Therefore, these pedal covers Without modifications, suitable only for 240 series late models and uh, also subsequent models uh, with manual transmission.
Thank you so much for your time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.